The nervous system is one of the most complex biological systems in the animal kingdom from the humble fruit fly to human beings and is responsible for coordinating our actions and processing sensory information. It can be thought of as a giant network or a series of electrical circuits wired together which can communicate with each other and pass along information. This highly complex, entangled system must be built entirely from scratch during embryonic development. But how exactly does the embryo build the nervous system circuits, how do these circuits become functionally active, perform their very first computations, and instruct the first behaviors? To be able to address these fundamental questions, we require new technology capable of continuously measuring, at the single neuron level, the functional properties of entire neural networks as they are being built in the embryo. In this study, we overcome this limitation and present an imaging method that simultaneously tracks cell movements, molecular signatures of different cell types, cell lineage relationships, as well as the neuronal activity of single cells throughout an entire developing circuit. This method allows us to continuously record the activity of all neurons in a developing circuit from the time the first neurons are born to the emergence of the coordinated circuit activity that instructs the animal's behavior. Using the capabilities provided by our approach, we systematically reconstructed how the earliest functioning circuit, the motor circuit located in the spinal cord, emerges during zebrafish embryogenesis. This circuit, which is fully functional within only 20 hours after fertilization, instructs the tail coiling behavior shown here. We first imaged the development of the entire zebrafish embryo at the single cell level until 17 hours post-fertilization. Using these images, we tracked the neural progenitor cells as they form the spinal cord. As soon as these progenitor cells start to differentiate into neurons, we rapidly switched to high-speed functional imaging of the spinal cord in order to record the neurons' activity. Over the next few hours, the spinal circuit undergoes functional maturation and eventually produces the coordinated left-right alternating activity patterns that give rise to the tail coiling behavior. We developed computational methods to systematically reconstruct from these recordings when neurons become functionally active, how they form local populations with coordinated activity patterns, and eventually produce globally coordinated activity across the entire spinal cord. We systematically performed these reconstructions across many individuals to determine how stereotyped this process is and to investigate the relationship between the developmental history of the neurons and their functional roles in the circuit. These experiments and computational analyses revealed the developmental building plan of the spinal circuit and mechanisms that underlie the emergence of its function. We found that, surprisingly, Motor neurons are the first active neurons in the circuit and act as leaders that recruit neighboring neurons to form the first local groups of neurons with patterned network activity. Over the next two hours, these local groups of neurons coalesce and grow to form a globally synchronized network. Interestingly, the synchronization of this network depends critically on the growth of the network to a certain minimum size, at which enough excitable neurons and connections have been formed to sustain synchronous behavior in a self-organizing manner. Finally, the emerging spinal network recruits a type of interneuron that establishes left-right alternating network oscillations, which instruct the embryo's first motor behaviors. The development of such neuronal networks capable of left-right coordination is of fundamental importance for locomotion in all vertebrates. Our joint analysis of the developmental history and activity of all neurons in the circuit furthermore reveals that this functional and maturation process is highly stereotyped based on the birth time and anatomical origin of the neurons. To allow the scientific community to immediately take advantage of our methods and datasets, we have made all these methods and resources, including the computational framework, our single neuron developmental and functional data, the blueprint of our microscope, as well as the microscope itself, freely and publicly available.